What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Today is gonna be a very, very good episode and I'll tell you why. I received some mail today, uh, somewhat out of the blue in that I was expecting it but I wasn't expecting it so soon and I was so stoked when I got it, I just could not wait to get home unbox it and review it just for you. If you're fairly active in the playing card community, you're probably well aware of the company cardcuts.com. If you need a reminder, they are responsible for the very popular and very attractive fluid playing cards. The company is based out of Australia, really, really nice people, and it just so happens that they just recently released a new deck, and that is the Oblique playing cards. If that sounds familiar, it's probably because you've seen Sean O doing uh, some phenomenal edits with the deck as shown here. One day, I can only hope that one day I can do that. <laughs> but the folks over at Card Cuts were nice enough to send me a couple of decks so we can do this review and I am so excited to crack into it. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because we're gonna give away one of these decks. But before we do, please do remember to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, so again, if you're not familiar with Card Cuts, that's Cuts with a Z. Uh, these guys made the Fluid playing cards, which will look a lot like the um, kind of Untitled playing cards or the Ultra deck by Gemini. Really beautiful deck, it really pops. Card Cuts, if you're watching this, I would love some of those. This was a deck that I was super excited for because I really haven't seen anything like it. The design is completely unique and I'm just very, very into uh, the way that this deck looks. First, let's take a look at the half brick box that these cards were shipped in. You can see from the box, you get a very sleek, black, uh, small half brick box. The top of it has oblique with kind of a hint at the back design in this kind of graffiti style and it is actually embossed on the top, which is a really, really nice touch. As well, embossed on each side, it says Oblique Playing Cards, produced by Card Cuts. Opening the box, you can see that it is a 2x2x2 two by two by two setup with two decks stacked on top of each other three times. And you get this amazing hot pink on the inside, which really, really looks good with the uh, white tuck box. Half break boxes seem to be becoming a thing right now, and I think that the way that this one was done was just absolutely beautiful. Look how good that looks. Oof. So good. When I when I took this out of the package, I was I was in awe. It really looks great. Let's get another review. As you can see, your tuck box is done in glossy white cardstock, and it has this amazing uh, kind of graffiti style pattern on the front, which is a little bit of a hint to what the back design of the cards looks like. And it says oblique in this really really modern uh, blocky kind of supreme obey style font. There's nothing written on either side, top, or the back of the deck. So you really just get that, that front design and get some ad copy on the bottom showing that the deck was designed by Adrian Valenzuela. It was produced and distributed by Card Cuts and then has their um, Australian address printed in USA. Nice and simple for the tuck box, but still very nice. This kind of reminds me of like a, maybe like a Memento Mori style, like the V1, um, just with that, that nice, clean, slick box design. Not a lot to see, not a lot of extras. You don't really need it. Ooh. This is what your back design looks like. You can see it is a symmetrical two-way back design. It shows some kind of metallic style like paint drips in there, as well as a really nice mix of purple, hot pink, some very teal blue, and then this black and white that really pops. You do get a uh, thick-ish, about medium style border that has these fading lines that kind of define it. And then you get the uh, kind of broken border style which makes for great fans. Inside the back design, you can see that there is line work that goes in kind of all directions, but one thing you may notice is the hands from the Kings show up in each corner, which kind of pays homage to a classic style deck, but really, really adds a graffiti modern style to it, which I love. This is kind of one of those decks where when you first look at it, you think you know what you see, but then the more you look at it, the more you see. So uh, it's, it's definitely a design that uh, I think lends itself a lot towards card flourishing and cardistry. You are gonna get two identical jokers, nice and simple. It is a mostly white face and it says joker in the middle with the king's sword uh, smashing through that O. And then you can see the queen holding a flower coming out from the bottom. Absolutely stunning joker. Everything from the colors to the font that they chose. 
Uh, Adrian, you did a really, really good job designing these jokers, in my humble opinion. This is a sick ace of spades. I absolutely love it. <laughs> we should do a tracker every time I say absolutely love in this video, but it's just, it looks really good. This is such a unique design. On the ace of spades, you can see you kind of get half of a king's face and then half of a queen's face. It says oblique in that font across the middle, and then there's some uh, branding below. It says oblique playing cards produced by Card Cuts. All right, now this is definitely a deck that I would say is uh, geared more towards the cardistry community than the magic community, and there is nothing wrong with that. So there is no gaff cards that you get with this deck, but you don't really need them because for cardistry, gaff cards don't do you a lot of good, but you do get a Card Cuts ad card. It's done in like navy blue and then has the Card Cuts logo, and then the back design of the cards. I'm probably gonna keep that. As well, you get a uh, oblique ad card and it's just a kind of rendering of uh, similar aspects of the design of the Ace of Spades and Jokers and the back design. Um, this is definitely cool. I say this a lot about Gemini decks. This is something that you could keep and you can just hang it up as like art on your wall. I really like that. And now, as I mentioned before, this deck is fully custom. So we have kind of a lot to get through. Let's take a look at it. Everything from the indices to the pips on the cards is completely custom. As you can see, the spades and clubs have their uh, kind of standard shape, similar to what you would have seen on the Views deck. They have this very modern shape, but as well, they have that uh, graffiti style kind of metallic mercury looking pattern on the inside, which I think looks really nice. And as well, I love the thick uh, index of the cards. The font looks really good and it totally matches the theme. The diamonds and hearts have been swapped out from red to this nice hot pink color, almost magenta. Your court cards do have elements of a standard bicycle deck. However, you can see that they have been kind of uh, cut and paste to overlap each other in some ways and keeping the back design pattern alive, very prominent in the uniforms of the courts. As well, you can see that each ace has been custom featuring a very enlarged pip on the diamonds, clubs, and hearts. Now for something like this, I gotta say the diamonds are probably my favorite suit in this deck. It just looks so good, even from a distance. Now this is something that's nice because you can interpret this. Like you can look at this and definitely know that those are diamonds. For a deck like this, like if you see a back design that looks like this, you don't want standard faces. You definitely want something that's gonna pop a little bit more and have a little bit more modern uh, aesthetic to it. And this deck delivers on all fronts. So very well done. Again, Adrian, this is not easy to do, but you definitely pull it off. Well, that is pretty much it for the way that this deck looks. Let's switch angles and talk about how it handles. All right, so in terms of handling, uh, this deck was produced by the United States Playing Card Company. It is on crushed classic stock, so it is extremely thin and it feels accordingly. This deck came out of the box feeling super, super soft and super easy to spring. It just glides. It glides so easy, I love that. So yeah, as I said, extremely thin. I would say if I had to compare the way this deck feels to any other deck, I would say pick up uh, the uh, DKNG Red Wheels by Art of Play, or definitely the uh, Juggler Sistine by Juggler Playing Cards. And if you don't have any of those, then I would say uh, the Bicycle Insignia or, or the uh, Anyone logo deck. Feels a lot like that too, so. Um, if you know me, you know that I love the feeling of USPCC cards, as does everybody, uh, but especially the way that crushed classic stock feels out of the box. It's just so soft and so satisfying. Here's that new dribble sound. Ooh, one more time. Very nice. The cards look great in a fan. You can see because of the broken borders, it really makes for an interesting fan. Otherwise, it would kind of just be white, but it has this beautiful multi-ribbon that kind of goes through it. I love that. If you fan it for the indices, you can see all that customization really shining through, which makes the deck look extremely interesting. The cards definitely fare best from top to bottom. I gotta see what a giant fan looks like with these. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Look at that. That's beautiful, wow. That looks really, really good. I feel like it can't be easy when you're designing a deck to know what's gonna look like in fans and giant fans and flourishes. Uh, you know, you can do 3D renders, but I feel like in person you just, it's gotta be satisfying even for Adrian who designed this deck to see what it looks like in action. Snappiness check. Ooh. 
Now the cards are so soft that they almost don't have that pop. It doesn't mean that the cards aren't snappy per se, it just means that they're so soft that you can barely hear it, which I kind of like. It's just so quiet, it just glides. This is definitely a deck that was made for the art of card flourishing. Now I know I showed off some of my uh, terrible cardistry skills in the intro, but just to give you an idea here in case you skipped it. It does look really good in flourishes. Even the most simple and basic of flourishes, like what I'm doing right now. Ooh. I also love the colors. I love this kind of 80s retro feel. Oh, so good. This is just a deck of cards that you could shuffle all day and just be completely satisfied. Everything from the sound to the way that it feels in your hands, the like gentle vibration. Oh, it's so good. Here's what the cards look like under pressure. Ooh, yeah. One more time, we'll do it a little bit faster. Nice. Common question, uh, could you use this deck for magic? Uh, if you're doing casual magic, definitely, but I would say uh, for performance magic, this is, uh, this is maybe not the deck that you would wanna use. Not that you couldn't, you definitely could and you'd get away with it, but uh, I, I think for the sake of not distracting people with uh, the faces of the cards being so, you know, custom and sexy. <laughs> I would say uh, this is definitely a deck more geared towards card flourishes. Damn. There, uh, there you go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the Oblique Playing Cards by Card Cuts. I do wanna say thank you so much to Card Cuts for allowing me to do this review and for sending me these decks. I really do like them. I think this is absolutely a deck that is gonna sell. It gears a lot towards what's in right now with the card community, but it's so original and so unique. I personally have not seen anything like it. As you guys know, if it's a deck of cards, I've seen it before. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the giveaway. I am gonna be giving away a sealed deck of oblique playing cards by Card Cuts. After watching this review, if you're definitely interested in picking up this deck for yourself, I would recommend checking out Card Cuts. I'll leave all the information below, but if you want to chance it and try to win one for yourself before they are all gone, here's what you got to do. Number one, like this video. Number two, be a subscriber. And number three, tell me how many times in this video I did a card spring. I'll select a random participant who got the answer correct, and I will announce the winner in one of my future videos. As well, if you want extra credit and you are on Instagram, you can feel free to follow me and Card Cuts. I will leave all of our information in the description below this video but it's not a deal breaker if you don't have it, you can still enter. By the way, when I say how many times in this video I did a card spring, I mean everything from the intro, through the review, talking about the handling, just as many times from start to finish as you can count uh, card springs in this video. <laughs> all right guys, get going. Best of luck, of course. All right guys, better get going. But with all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. <laughs> I know I will. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go.